Welcome back again to Ingalls Coach. I'm Dave. How many of you have a bucket list? You know, one of those things that is on your desire to do before you die? We're all going to die. Well, back in 2009, I decided to check off one of the items on my bucket list. I always wanted to experience firsthand what I had read about. In the old days, 1800s, of individual men headed to the mountains to become a mountain man and living a solitary life, traveling by themselves. I was always kind of curious what that was like. So I decided about this time in 2009, March, April, that I was going to do that. And so I headed for from Joliet here to Great Falls to Bozeman and back. Ended up traveling by myself 650 miles over five weeks. And I, tr I headed across some pretty wide open country, had some pretty stormy nights, rode in rain, rode in snow, rode through the mountains. As I would go through different towns about every other week, I would stop and resupply, stopped and saw a son and his wife in Bozeman and, and resupplied there before I headed home. So anyway, I got home the first week of October and it was cold and cloudy and dreary and this, the forecast was for snow coming in. So I made it in just kind of right before that. Well, I got a call from a gal that wanted to do a bucket list ride from Mexico to Canada with her horse and a little wagon. And her husband followed along with a pickup and trailer as support team. Well, if you remember back a while, a year or so ago, a year and a half ago, I did a, a little video on some miniature horse wheels, tightened them up. Well, this was for preparation for this ride. Well, she did this last spring through the summer and fall, and partway through about mid-June, I got an email that she had lost a rubber tire off of a front wheel. What should we do? And I said, just keep on going. That wheel's going to be fine. The channel iron is going to keep your wheel sound and secure. Just keep on driving. Don't mess up your dream ride for the sake of a rubber tire. Well, through the course of the rest of that summer, she drove. She lost two more. So she ended the ride with only one rubber tire left intact. And you'll see what that looked like. But that first front wheel that lost the rubber tire the earliest ground its way down to where it was only an eighth inch metal band left on the wheel. I'm going to put a one inch rubber on that has two wires instead of the three quarter inch rubber that they had on with only a single wire. So this video is putting new rubber on these wheels. She still has the state of Colorado that she would like to finish. And so let's get these rebuilt so she can continue her bucket list ride and finish the Mexico to Canada ride.
Well, as I was cleaning up these bearings, one outer bearing just fell apart, just shelled out. So it was ready to fail anyway. I do have a replacement for that. The grease seals, sometimes I can salvage them. These I couldn't. I kind of messed them up when I was pulling them out. So I'm going to put new grease seals in here too when we put these back together.
Well, this one front tire that lost the rubber first ground down to where it was just an eighth inch band left. Well, this being driven on gravel roads actually hammered this steel and stretched it out. So this was actually a pretty loose tire.
So from here in Joliet, Montana, to wherever you're at, hope you're staying safe. And if you have a bucket list, here's hoping that you make the time or find the time to check one of those things off. Once again, thanks for watching.